uh, assignment 2.2 uh, as you can see I downloaded the information tracks and schools from the blackboard and put it in my folder in my C drive under my course again and I also created the personal geo database uh, which you'll have to do it for yourself and imported these two uh, tracks and school layers into it and now I open an empty arc map uh, which we usually do and uh, I'm gonna add those uh, two layers okay <coughs> now uh, you can see the schools and tracks um, again uh, what the main thing uh, that we are trying to uh, learn using this assignment is spatial joining uh, how we are gonna do that is uh, you know attach schools to the tracks so to do that I right click on the tracks go to join and relates click on join and go to uh, join data from another layer based on spatial location select that from the drop down menu and select your schools and then click on sum you know uh, which means each polygon will be given the summary of numeric attributes uh, which is already explained in the class and I'm gonna save it uh, in my C drive under my course 2.2 and make it a file G database uh, thing and uh, I'm gonna call it track school join okay I'm gonna save it and uh, click on OK uh, I already did this assignment so that's why the you know it's already there uh, but you know uh, I, we called it track school join so why don't you open it and right click uh, to open the attribute table and you can see some important fields here uh, one is uh, count underscore which will give us the count of you know the total number of schools that will fall under each census track and some of them are null because most some of the census tracks does not have any school in them okay and also as you can see the uh, sum and row uh, you know that is one of the uh, main fields that we're going to use to actually create our thematic map today. so to do that right click go to properties and go to symbology and go to quantities by color I'm gonna use my you know sum of enrollment uh, some where is that uh, sum of enrollment 95 and I use quantiles I'm gonna, you know use quantiles and uh, assign an interesting color here and click ok and uh, make these tracks uh, for these we are going to use this uh, these polygons to actually show by symbol uh, the total number of uh, each uh, 5 to 70 people and we are going to use quantiles here as well and click ok so now you can uh, actually uh, maybe mark schools as maybe uh, something else and uh, turn it off for now and now you can see what you are seeing here in this map is that uh, actually we are just seeing this uh, ages 5 to 17 or the k-12 population because we have a background color here which should be no color so that we can see the layer beneath it so now actually we can see uh, that you know uh, uh, and we need to change the color so that doesn't look so so there you go and name the 
probably the neighborhoods or something no. uh, actually these are these are not even neighborhoods so i'm gonna wait on that now i have to create a layout for this uh, i'm gonna go to page setup and turn it into a you know portrait landscape and then it just my actually i'm gonna add my guides so that i'm not you know actually give it some margin here and snap it to the guides and make it you know full screen uh, or maybe you can actually add some uh, maybe to Eight, I would say. Uh, to add some titles and so on and so forth. So insert a title. And call it comparison of census tracks, um, which is pretty good. And uh, I'm gonna put it on top and make it, you know, uh, smaller, little, little smaller. two pages uh, oh, actually two lines and insert your legend next 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 and that's my legend uh, we can use different styles to this. Uh, for this purpose, I'm gonna place it in new column and uh, going not to show that it's a legend. It's pretty obvious that it's a legend. So I'm gonna place it like that and decrease the size to maybe an eight or maybe like eleven, which is more acceptable. And I'm gonna add another guide set of guidelines to give it some buffer. <clears throat> and uh, what I'm gonna do to this map is add a sort of like a chat kind of a thing so, uh, we'll see how that's done now uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, first I'm gonna take a look at my attribute table uh, what I'm trying to achieve is uh, I want to create a, uh, I want to see if the total and you know uh, the highest school enrollment in each census track is actually you know justified uh, to the uh, a total number of uh, probable uh, k-12 children uh, how i'm gonna do that i'm gonna select all the enrollment which is more than a thousand uh, all the tracks and i'm gonna go to export the data into maybe into my folder as a chat okay and uh, I'm gonna open up my Excel and go to file open and go to my uh, my computer C try PPS 5312.2 and open all files in which I have the chat at DBF and uh, now you can see I opened you know uh, the file with since you know school enrollment uh, more than thousand you know you see all this this is all more than thousand right so now I'm gonna copy that one against Is 5 to 12 and actually it is it in a new uh, table new worksheet and select those two and uh, you know, create 